Welcome back to the Sportsmax Zone. The best schoolboy football talents from Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago usually compete in the Caribbean America's Soccer Classic at the end of the season. Now, this year is no different as both select teams are currently in Fort Lauderdale to compete in the tournament. Gerard Morris-Seeley files this report. The Caribbean America's Youth Soccer Classic in Fort Lauderdale, Florida has become a place for Jamaica and Tobago to highlight their best football talents at the end of the schoolboy football season. This year, these two countries will go up against five of the best local clubs the city has to offer, including the defending champions, world famous Inter Miami and the 19s. It was nice for us to get a first class seat with the Jamaican team as they traveled from Kingston to Fort Lauderdale. Trip that was not short of delays. Very good, man. Yeah. Bad more pay, no? After Tuesday's flight, it's a quick turnaround for the Jamaica Select team with their first match later on Wednesday. So the coaching staff of Lenworth Hyde and Devon Anderson held a short training session in the morning, which our producer Philip Riley decided to join. Yeah, let me drop your ads, yeah. Was a good one. Come look. You fire that one boy. You never catch it. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> Devon Anderson, the coach of the Jamaica Select, was quite happy about the travel and is looking forward to the tournament. We hope that this is the winning unit to put together. And let us see later on when we go out there, you know. That very, we, have, we have a very, very good bunch of kids. There's no doubt about it. But, you know, get the chemistry together. Some of these guys is going to play together for the first time, you know. After tonight match, then we can say, no, you know, well, we hit the chemistry on and, and the first game and so on. The guys are very talented, I swear. Very talented. We, we believe we can do this. We kind of know some of my guys them already, so now we have to try to get to know the Morning Cup guys and get well settled with them. This feeling, a different feeling. We know the guys them over there, I cheer me on, I hope I can do my best, I will do my best. From game one, we have to put our stamp on it, you know, and our aim is to get the title this year. We fall short last year, but nevertheless, we come this year in order to take it home. Nothing less. Yes, yeah, so the Jamaicans are joined there by a Tobago select team also making the trip to Fort Lauderdale. Kyle Joseph is the head coach of the Tobago team and he had a chat with our producer, Phil Riley. Last year, you know, we had a big, big squad. So what we did, we cut down the squad so it's going to be easier to really pick the team, pick the players to come out. So um, out of the starting 11, I think it's only like basically three guys that are new guys out on the team. Yeah, so um, we left the home, the small ones, and we bring the more developed ones this time. The win feels great, but um, leaving last year, um, I really learned from my experience. So what, one of the things I did is keep the team together, you know, and just um, include some of the younger guys. So we were kind of well prepared this time coming forward to, um, to play in the tournament. So I feel pretty okay. The goal this year is basically, as I said from I told you, is just to be seen as a little island to be able. You know, we are not inferior, you know. So um, just try to showcase the talent that Tobago have. And that's, that's, that's basically it. So I'm basically happy for the win, you know, for moving forward, you know, so it could motivate the guys to really do better so um, coaches could see them. Because one of the things I told them, the more you win, the more the coaches watch you. So thank, we are really thankful for the first three points of the um, tournament. Yeah, okay, so... Um 
lots of action there coming from Fort Lauderdale with uh, players that you would have seen in schoolboy football coverage, both in TNT and uh, Jamaica. Phil Riley um, is uh, there covering for Sportsmax. Phil, um, great to have you to uh, transmit what is happening in Fort Lauderdale to us. Can I start by that uh, play that you had there on Kaim Dixon? Because in Jamaica, they call it a pile. Internationally, they call it a sombrero. Um, I guess you showed the young, young youngsters that you still had, had some, some tricks in your boots, Phil. Yeah, yeah, Lance, funny, funny enough, I didn't even know. I didn't even know who it was. <laughs> um, it was after the game that they told me it was Kaim Dixon. I didn't, honestly, I didn't, I didn't know at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we, we know you're a, a huge fan of... I, I haven't apologized to him yet. <laughs> well, we know you're a huge fan of German football, so I guess that's where it, where it comes from, Phil. But um, great to have these uh, opportunities for these young players in, in Fort Lauderdale. And they all seem very enthusiastic about this, this experience. Yes, they are. And um, Jamaica's a really, really strong team going in today. I'm, I'm so excited because last year we came, Tobago team was a little off. They, they, they weren't as prepared. But this year, I saw them last night. They look really good. Mm. They didn't score any goals last year, but this year they, they won 2-1. Mm -hmm. And the, t the games I saw last night, it was really of high quality. Mm. Today, and we're looking forward to seeing Inter Miami. If you can look behind me, Inter is, they're warming up now. Mm. They're, they're a really good team, and we're looking forward to seeing them. Yeah, and the fact is that there will be a lot of scouts looking on and a great opportunity here for these players who have come off their schoolboy football seasons, you know, maybe a month or, or so ago. But I would suspect that they've kept themselves in shape to uh, make sure that they can make the best of this opportunity. Yes, Lance, even in that training session, I, I, I was running really hard because these guys were moving fast. And, to, <laughs> and the pace of the field... The pace of the field tonight will show if they are still in good condition because some rain fell yesterday, it's still a little wet, so the ball will be moving fast on, the, on this AstroTurf. Yeah, and, and how comfortable are the players on AstroTurf? Because schoolboy football in Jamaica and TNT, um, neither is played on AstroTurf services. Well, the Tobago team, when I spoke to them, they made a trip here in August. To, to acclimatize themselves as well. But, but the Jamaicans, the Jamaicans have the Orisboro Center and they played there last week. So most of them, all of them should have, should have been comfortable to play here. Yeah. Okay, Phil, we're going to leave it there. Um, great to have you um, talking to us about what is happening there in Fort Lauderdale. And uh, you can transmit to us our our hope and uh, blessings on the players that they, they do well and make this a great experience for them. Thanks, man. Yes, uh, yes, man. I'm looking forward to tonight. and I, I, need, I need to go put on my jacket because it's really chilly out here. <laughs> yeah, and we're talking about Florida. Um, we'll be back with more on the Sports Max Zone after this.